Hello everyone, I'm Isan. In this video, we'll take a look on 25 new features on the latest One UI 3.0 update. This latest update is already available on S20 series and Note 20 series on December 2020. Other series will also get updates on the upcoming months. Okay, now let's just take a look at all the new features on this new One UI 3.0 update. The first feature or change that looks different on this One UI 3.0 is a new design of the notification panel. The notification panel looks different and fresher on One UI 3.0 with a new attractive and clean design. The position of the icon placement and also other settings icon are also changed on the notification panel. In One UI 3.0, the setting icon is now being moved to the top and the clock is in the middle. For media and devices, the position is also changed in this section. And for the position of toggle icons, it is also made a little further down. So now the settings are much easier to reach with one hand in One UI 3.0. Then there is also a new design in the fingerprint icon section. Now the fingerprint icon design has changed a little bit and looks a little wider than before. The fingerprint icon is now a little wider and bigger than the previous fingerprint icon. Then the third feature is on the lock screen. In the lock screen, if you tap on the clock, the widget will appear in this section. There are many widgets on the lock screen that can be displayed here. There are Spotify schedule, alarms, weather, Bixby routine, and also digital well-being at the bottom. To change the appearance of the widget on the lock screen, you can go to the settings at the bottom, then from there you just have to choose what widget to display on the lock screen. Then on the lock screen, if you unlock it with number or pin, you will also get different looking padlock icon. The number buttons now come with a rounded shape design. Then the background design also looks transparent like on the notification panel. Then at the top there is also a new padlock icon that looks a little bit different. Then the next additional change or new feature is in the media control section on the notification panel. The display of media control on One UI 3.0 looks a little different as compared to the previous version. On the latest One UI 3.0 update, you can directly go to the media section from this media control. So it will go straight to the media. Previously on your Samsung mobile, you can only double tap to wake the screen. Now on the latest version, you can immediately double tap to lock the smartphone as well. To activate this setting, you can open the phone settings, then select the advanced features. Then here select the motion and gestures. In the latest update, now there is a double tap to turn off screen. Usually after updating to One UI 3.0, it will be activated automatically. But if it's not activated yet, you can activate it from this section. Then the next feature is the bubble notification feature and also the smart pop-up view with a fresher look. For the smart pop-up view and bubble notification settings, you can now find them in the notification section. For the detailed display of notification on the right, it will be as usual like on the previous version. And the new display, now you can choose the brief notification display. And the new display, now you can choose the brief notification display. Then for the bubble notification, select the advanced settings. In the advanced settings section, here in the floating notification, select bubbles. These bubbles notification settings come from Android 11. Meanwhile, the smart pop-up view is already available on the previous version. However, on this later smart pop-up view in One UI 3.0, it looks a little bit different. The icon looks a little more square and the close icon is now at the bottom. So now you can close or remove the pop-up icon from the bottom of your screen. Previously, to remove this, you have to drag the icon to the top part of your screen. Then on the new smart pop-up view, there is also a feature that can split the screen directly at the top of your screen. You can immediately tap on the left of the split screen with the currently open application on the background. Then the seventh feature is some new category on the newest dynamic wallpaper section. On the dynamic wallpaper settings, wallpaper and wallpaper surfaces, now you can immediately choose dynamic wallpaper with new themes and categories. And for the latest update, now you can also directly choose 5 categories at once. Then the next feature is when you set the wallpaper, now there will be a new icon to see the wallpaper in full screen. When you want to apply wallpaper from your own image on gallery, you can also immediately see how the wallpaper looks before it is applied. You can tap the icon on the right below, then you can see the full screen wallpaper before applying wallpaper. So you can preview the appearance of the wallpaper on the lock screen and the home screen. If you already like the appearance of the wallpaper, then you can apply the wallpaper right away. 
Then the next feature is the trust feature in the message application. In the message application, there is a new trust feature that will contain your deleted message. The message that being put on this trust will be automatically deleted within the next 30 days. Then from the contact application, there is also a new feature that can directly merge or remove contacts easily. From the contacts application, you can go to the settings, then select manage contacts. Here you can merge contacts, import or move contacts more easily in this latest version. If there are duplicate contacts on your smartphone, you can immediately select merge contacts and select it based on name, email, or phone number. Then the next new feature is the call background option. In the contact settings, you can select settings, then from there select call background option. In this latest call background, you can choose the full layout and also the smaller layout. Then here you can also choose the background from your own photos or videos. The video must be no longer than 15 seconds and under 100 megabyte. Then the next new feature is the faster autofocus and exposure lock on the camera application. For the autofocus speed, it is also not really feasible if we don't compare it directly side by side. However, it does look a little bit different than before. The autofocus icon and exposure lock also looks a little different on this new version. Here you can immediately set the brightness at near the focus position. Previously, even though you tap focus on the middle part of your screen, you still need to set brightness from the bottom part of the screen. Then the next thing is you can immediately refer to photo that has been edited on the gallery to its original version. Now there is also a save copy option, for example if you edit the photo and increase the contrast, exposure and so on. Then you can select save at the top. For the photo that you have edited earlier, if you want to re-edit the photo, a revert menu will appear at the top. You can use the revert menu to restore the photo to its original version. So you can immediately select refer to original and the edited photos will return to its original unedited version. Then at the top setting, there is also an option to save copy option. So to save the copy, it's now optional. Then the next changes are in the settings section. To display the settings, now the icon looks a little bit different as compared to the previous version. This icon looks smaller and the subtopic section from the settings section also appears in this section. For example, the display setting contains brightness, blue light filler, navigation bar option, and now you can immediately see the parts of the setting as well. Then at the top there is also an icon that is displayed on the top right section. Now on this latest One UI version 3.0, an icon appears along with your email at the top of the settings. Then the next change is the high performance mode which is now renamed to enhanced processing. In the settings section, if you look at the battery and device care, then open the battery option. There will be a power saving mode that you can activate. However, you can't find the high performance mode from these settings. You can select more battery settings and select enhanced processing. Enhanced processing is the new name for the previous high performance mode. The position is now also moved to the more battery settings section. So to activate high performance mode as before, you can choose this enhanced processing menu. You can also activate enhanced processing mode directly from the notification panel. In the notification panel, you can directly tap on enhanced processing in this section. If the toggle doesn't appear on your notification panel, you can select edit buttons at the top of the settings. Then you just have to drag it to the bottom, then click done, and enhanced processing will immediately appear in the notification panel. Then there are also changes in the Wi-Fi section. In the Wi-Fi settings, if you click on the settings, then the display will change slightly to display the network speed, security, and IP address. It will look a little different than the previous version. Then the next difference is also in the device care section. In this device care menu, the appearance is now slightly different than the previous version. On this latest version of One UI 3.0 is now in the care report section. It looks more detailed than before. Then the next feature is on the screen recorder part. On the screen recorder part, there is now a new feature that can hide status and navigation bars. So if you still use the navigation bar at the bottom of your smartphone, you can now record without showing up the navigation bar on the recorded video. You just have to activate the setting when you record then the navigation bar will disappear from the recorded video. Then the next new feature is the notification history. This notification history is the new features of Android 11. You can find it on the settings, then select the notification. Then here you can select the advanced settings and select notification history. You can immediately activate this setting and later you will immediately see a list of notifications that appear from here. Previously, you can only activate this feature by installing Good Luck application. 
However, now on the latest version of One UI 3.0, it already available by default and now you can activate it directly from the notification history section. Later, you can immediately see WhatsApp chats that your friends have deleted from there. So you can take advantage of this feature to see WhatsApp chats from your friends who have been deleted. These features are the same as on the previous video. Then the next new feature is a brief notification. You can find this brief notification on the settings and you can immediately select the brief notification on the left. The brief notification will appear simpler and smaller like this. If you activate the brief notification, you can take advantage of the edge lighting. But if you activate the detail option, you cannot activate the edge lighting feature. If you activate the brief option, you can select the brief pop-up settings and select edge lighting style from here. Now the edge lighting style has been moved to the notification section. The settings and everything is still the same and change position only. Then the next setting is you can also directly add widgets from the home screen. You can immediately tap and long press on the icon and the widget option will appear immediately from there. And now you can immediately add widget on the home screen. Then the next change is in the recent apps section. It is now looks a little different than the previous version. Previously, the appearance of recent apps was a little different and flat. The recent app animation looks smoother in this One UI 3.0 version. You can swipe slowly and if you want to move faster, you can also do it very easily. So the animation looks smoother as compared to the previous version. Then the next feature is the position of the volume button which move to the right. Previously, this volume button was by default at the top and if you want to move it, you have to use other additional application. In this one UI 3.0 update, the default is now on the right so now you can immediately change the volume easily on the right side. Here there are also additional volume settings that you can type from this section. Then the next feature is additional settings on the Bixby routine. In one UI 3.0, now the Bixby routine looks more different than the previous version. There are some additional suggested routines that come inside this Bixby routine application. The add routine option is now here in the add routine tab and the routine you have added is at the right tab. Next, the last feature is the video enhancer feature that you can immediately choose based on the application that you want. So in this latest update of One UI 2.0, now you can choose which application are activated from this video enhancer feature. Here you can immediately select the application according to what you want. Previously, for video enhancer feature, it will be activated automatically for all video application. So in this latest update, now you can choose according to the application that you want only. If you like this kind of video, don't forget to click the thumbs up button and also subscribe to get a notification when there is a new video from this channel. If you have any questions or comments, you can immediately write them in the comment section down below. Or you can ask directly on our telegram group or at our instagram account at Entertainment. See you on the next video.